Hey guys, Andrew Cayley from Covers here, and we've got another Midwest region betting breakdown from Friday, March 22nd. We were really, really close to a perfect day yesterday if it wasn't for Auburn, and they're choking at the end of the game there. But we've got another four games on the board today, so let's dive right in. The Midwest region gets to sleep in a bit on Friday, with the first tip off not until 6.50 Eastern when Washington takes on Utah State in an 8-9 matchup. But the only thing close about these teams is the seeds. Utah State has won 10 straight, while Washington has dropped 3 of 7, scoring just 65 points per game, and going 1-6 ATS in the process. Washington is known for its defense, but it won't be enough here. Utah State is just too balanced on both ends of the floor, ranking in the top 45 of the Ken Palm offensive and defensive metric. And they'll use some of the best ball movement in the country to break down that pesky Husky speed. Lay the points with the Aggies and consider the Huskies to go under their team total of 66.5. Next up is Georgia State and Houston in a 14-3 matchup. We all remember Ron Hunter falling off his stool the last time Georgia State was in the dance, and they'll need some more of that magic this time around. Georgia State will have a puncher's chance with their three-point shooting, but the Cougars rank first in the nation in opponent field goal percentage and second in opponent three-point percentage. Houston is also known for getting off to hot starts, so take them on the first half spread minus seven. On to number one, North Carolina, and number 16, Iona. This game is going to be played at a breakneck pace. Both teams love to run, hence the huge total and team totals. But UNC is sneaky good on defense, so let's not rely on the Gales here. In eight games where the Tar Heels were favored by 15 or more, they averaged almost 48 first half points per game. Take the Tar Heels to go over 46 and a half on their first half team total. And to close it out, we've got an 11-6 matchup between Ohio State and Iowa State. The Cyclones are coming off an impressive Big 12 tournament title run, while the Buckeyes have lost 7 of 10, averaging just 63 and a half points per game. This is a classic offense versus defense matchup, but here's a damning stat. Big 12 teams Texas Tech, Kansas State, Kansas, and Oklahoma all ranked higher than Ohio State in adjusted defensive efficiency, and the Cyclones still averaged 72.5 points per game and went 7-3 straight up and ATS in those contests. Lay the points with the Cyclones and consider the over their team total of 72.5. Okay, so there you have it, guys. Whether you fade or follow, good luck either way. If you want a complete breakdown of this and all the regions for today's action, check out Covers.com and our brand new March Madness page. And as always, follow us on Twitter, at Covers.